substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Well, that's, I think, Hebrews 11.1 1 from the Bible, but I think that's a very important, it doesn't matter what your, your beliefs are, I think there's a lesson in there for all of us who aspire to be network marketing professionals. Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name's Randy Gage. I'm sitting in for Eric Worre this week, who's taken a well-deserved vacation. And I want to talk about the subject of faith. Because there are people in our business, and probably many of you watching, who say, well, that's my problem. I, I really don't have faith. If I had faith, I'd be able to do this. But I don't know where I could find this faith. How do I get this faith? How do I develop it? But I think that's not really true. I believe everybody has faith. The question is, what do you have faith in? Because I will tell you what, the first five or six years in this business, I had a tremendous amount of faith. I had faith that people were not going to show up for my presentations. I had faith that the people who showed up for my presentations were going to reject me and say no. I had faith that the people who joined the business were going to drop out in the first month or two. And you know what? My faith was rewarded because that is exactly what happened. Because that was the faith I had. You know, what we think about is what we attract. Thoughts held in mind attract in kind. So we all have faith. The question is, what do we have faith in? So how do we become successful in network marketing? We've got to develop the positive faith. So let's talk about some of the ways that we can do that and create the kind of faith that's going to allow us to manifest the results that we really want to see in our network. I think we could all say, we all have, we don't need to worry about faith in network marketing. Network marketing is proven. As my esteemed colleague likes to say every single day, it's a stone cold fact. We have a better way. You know what? That's not in dispute. It's 60 some years now, network marketing has been around. 60 some years it's been growing. How many millionaires and multi-millionaires it's created? How many people it's given freedom to? How many people it's given better health and wellness to? How many people it's given better lifestyles to? And again, we get a little jaded of this. You know, we obviously we make a lot of money in this business, some of us, in, in multi-million dollar incomes. But let's not lose sight of the fact that there's a lot of areas in the world, and network marketing is all over the globe, in many, many countries, even third world countries, where people who make uh, the equivalent of 200 or 300 dollars a month, or 200 or 300 euros a month, this is transforming their lives. We're doing a lot of good. If you're talking about, uh, last estimate I heard last uh, year would have been more than $100 billion uh, sales in network marketing direct selling companies. If you took an average of 40% of the payout, that means $40 billion got paid out to us, the team members in the profession. That's $40 billion that was making car payments, rent and mortgage payments, uh, donations to church, temple, mosque, synagogue, then donations to charity, allowing people to get free, paying bills, improving lifestyle, doing wonderful things. There's no, there's no reason for you to question faith in the profession of network marketing. It's proven. I'm betting for pretty much every, every one of you watching this, your company is proven as well. And there's people in your company who are already successful. They're already making money, they're already driving those free bonus cars, they're already renting those cruises and free trips, they've got the, you know, the network growing. So your company is proven as well. There's no reason for you not to have faith in your company. So that brings us to one other area that we've got to have faith in, and that is ourselves. And that, of course, is where most people struggle. So how can we develop that positive faith in ourselves? Well, I think it's all about programming. It's about choosing the programming we get in our subconscious mind. Tom Schreider likes to say that your subconscious mind is an idiot. It just does whatever it's told to do, and that's really true. Your subconscious mind, when it's programmed with something, it just does what it's programmed to do. It doesn't rationalize, it doesn't analyze, it doesn't critique, it does whatever it's programmed to do. And if you don't believe me, think about it. I mean, your subconscious mind right now is keeping your heart pumping, it's causing you to breathe, it's all of those
cells, trillions and trillions of cells in your body are all going through the process exactly as they're supposed to, even though you're not consciously saying, well, I better remember to breathe this minute, because if I don't breathe, I'm going to run out of oxygen. Just takes, just takes care of it. Same thing, you know, you ever get in an argument with your spouse and you, you leave the house and you're mad and you're going to work and boy, I should have said this and next time I'm going to say that and all of a sudden you're at work. How did you get there? Because your subconscious mind knows. You go down to this street, you turn left, you go down to the convenience store, you turn right, you get on the expressway, you take that for two miles, you always get off at this exit, this is where your parking space is. Your subconscious mind just does that automatically. When we program our subconscious mind, we will get the results we want because it doesn't rationalize, doesn't analyze, it just does what it's supposed to do. So how can we program our subconscious mind? Well, the fact that you're watching Network Marketing Pro every day, that's a positive step. Five days a week, you've got this uh, positive programming, teaching you skills, building belief, building confidence, helping you develop faith. I encourage you to drop by my site. I have one called NetworkMarketingTimes.com. I've got a blog on there with some of the most amazing people in network marketing are participating and contributing on that every day. I've got an MLM leadership report. You can subscribe to that, and then we send out updates and training tips on that. So I certainly encourage you to do that. Uh, program the positive images. Everybody in this business should have a dream board in their bedroom. This should be a, just a poster, get it at the, the, the uh, art supply store, big poster board, and fill it with images of things you want to do, have, or become. And just know that, put it somewhere where the, the dream stealers are not going to see it, where they're going to ridicule you or make fun, somewhere probably in your bedroom, so you're going to see it every morning, you're going to see it every night, and just know, even when you walk by it, it's, it's just in your peripheral vision, it's still programming your subconscious mind. And other people don't have to know what they mean. Any image, if you, let's say you're looking for your perfect soulmate, you could do a picture of a couple holding hands, you could do a, a clip out of a couple of wedding rings from a magazine, you could do a silhouette of you what your perfect person, anything, as long as it means something to you. And I believe you need to have your dream car, and you need to have your dream home, and you need to have a copy of the bonus check that you want to get, and the things you want to become. Because it isn't just about those, the, the, the uh, attainment of wealth, it's about becoming prosperous in all areas of your life. So I encourage you to have a, an area for spirituality, have an area for health. All of the things in your life that are important to you, put them on your board and have that there. I'd also suggest you have a map of your organization. The two things I want everybody in my team to have in their bedroom, I want them to have a dream board, and I want them to have a map. They're, they're drawing out their organization. And so they're, they've got their four personal people, and this guy's got two, and this lady's got one. And, this, and then every time they had a team member, they draw another circle and they get it out. And of course, obviously, it'll get to the point uh, that when you really get going, your organization is so big, you can't even draw it out anymore. And then maybe you're just drawing out your director lines, or you're just drawing out your diamonds, or the long, it doesn't matter, but start with the, when it's just you, go ahead and put you, and then when you get that first person, put it there, because as you see that grow, that helps you develop the faith. You have to feed your dream on a daily basis. Because understand this, one of two things are going to happen. If your fears are greater than your dreams, you will procrastinate and you will do nothing. You will sit home and worry, what if they say no? What if they reject me? What if they drop out? What if this doesn't work? And you will fill your mind with all kinds of negative things if you allow your fears to be greater than your dreams. But if you allow your, if you cause your dreams to be greater than your fears, your dreams will pull you into action. And that will keep you going. So you, you, you ever hear that you go to seminars and people say, hey, fake it till you make it. Go out and rent a car and buy clothes you can't afford and wear you know, jewelry that is really expensive and, and you fake it. And then your group is going to see you with all this flashy merchandise and they're going to want to duplicate. Very bad advice. I don't want you to fake it till you make it. That's not, I want you to live within your means. I want you to keep your job. I want you to build your network 10 or 15 hours a week. Grow your income, and I want you to take the network marketing income and use it to grow your business. So I don't want you to fake it till you make it, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to faith it 
until you make it. All right, so thanks for being with me all week. Next week, Eric will be back, and thank you and you for being a professional. Yeah.